Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Sample Return Capsule, which is being made by forum users Cobalt Wolf and Albert Kerman. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a small little autonomous capsule, which you can load up with all of your different science experiments, and then let it return them safely back home. And I love this mod. Now, I gotta admit, when I first saw it about, I think, two months ago is when it released, I personally didn't think much of it. I just thought it was a weird little two-part mod that just added a random tiny capsule. But then on a whim this weekend when I was playing, I just decided to install it and see... And I gotta say, I love this mod now, and frankly don't know if I could play without it, because one of my favorite things to do in this game is to return all of my science experiments home back to the Kerbal Space Center without transmitting them, as I find returning them home a lot more fun and fulfilling. And if you're like me in that regard, this mod is so useful as it really helps facilitate that return home, especially in mid-mission circumstances, which we'll talk a little bit more about later, but let's uh, take a look at the VAB and have a gander at, again, the two parts that make this mod up. Now, they both live here in the Utility tab, and the first part we have here is the BDB, AKI-001 Sample Return Device Upper Half. And if we pop this one out into existence, you will see it is a very, very tiny part. In fact, it is a part of the uh, 0.625 variety of parts, and uh, is, of course, a unmanned command pod for, you know, obvious reasons. It's quite tiny, can't really fit a Kerbal in there. It has its own built-in parachute. It also does have its own small built-in RCS system with a tiny amount of monopropellant, I believe five monopropellant. It, of course, also does have a reaction wheel, SAS, and a small battery of 30 electric charge. All in all, a pretty good little self-contained probe system, and uh, I quite like the look and design of it. It is quite small, but really does have a lot packed in there. Now you can see we got the little cool parachute logo, which I think is my favorite thing. It's not exactly the most uh, amazing thing modeling wise because, well, frankly, it is just a dome with a little stick for an antenna right there. Uh, but the actual texturing on it is gorgeous. If we actually move it over a little bit here so we can get a bit closer of a look, you can see we got all the cool paneling on it. We have the fun little, uh, parachute logo here up top for where the parachute again does live. We got the lovely little RCS ports here for control. We do have this purely aesthetic eight antenna here, which of course is basically just to make you feel like you're actually controlling it from the command center here rather than being a functional communicator in the game. And yeah, just overall very nice little part. I do quite enjoy it. Now, of course, though, you're going to need something to carry all those experiments in. And that is when the lower half comes into play which stat-wise has an ablator heat shield amount of 50, so it can protect itself when returning through the atmosphere of, here of Kerbin. And if we pop this baby on, you can see just, again, not exactly the most complicated of modeling, but very, very cool texturing. I really love the look and feel of this thing. And, of course, it opens up, and you can fit all your little scientific experiments into here, and that... That is just useful, especially considering the fact that you don't have to just preload experiments into here. You can do like what I did this past weekend when I was playing, and I was using the, oh, what is it called? We did a video on it, I think like a year and a half ago, the Portable Science Container mod is, of course, a Kerbal Attachment System compatible mod that allows you to store your experiments in a backpack and then bolt that backpack onto something. And so I was walking around planets collecting experiments, and then I bolted the backpack inside of this thing for its inevitable return here to the Kerbal Space Center, which was great. So it wasn't a preloaded experiment, which of course you can fit in here. You can grab any of these things and pop it inside and, you know, just adjust it with the move tools here to get it exactly where you need. But of course, if you have any Kerbal attachment system compatible experiments, you can just attach those in 
while you're actually out there exploring. And that is just very, very useful. And one other fun little detail that I do quite like, if we uh, do grab one of the small decouplers here, is this the shroud on this thing? I like that it has the fun details of these little bolts here, which of course you can turn on or off if you so desire, but I quite like it on, and I like that. It's just, it's just fun and enjoyable. But yes, here is our little mini sample return capsule. Not a whole lot to it, frankly, parts-wise, but it is a very, very useful tool. Now let's load up my crappy little test craft that I built and just launch this thing because, well, it's good to see things actually being used, frankly. And just do a basic crappy, crappy little mission. Now let's get a little bit of a good look at this thing. There we are, our tiny, tiny little capsule. Again, the 0 0.625 size variety. So very, very small and, you know, easy to include a lot of these. The mission I was doing this weekend, for instance, I had six of these things attached to my mothership. And then just whenever I was sending a lander down to a planet or a moon, I would detach one of these and then attach it to my lander to take down to the planet with me. And it was great, it was perfect, I loved it. And quite easy because of its size, very easy to attach on an extra part or two onto a lander with one of these without much notice. But let's actually take this baby off and then basically just show you kinda what it does. I mean, I've explained what it does, but it's always good to see things actually in use. So there we go, we have uh, used up our crappy little engine, so let us detach. There we are, lovely, and of course this is a little science kit that we have, so let us collect some data, we'll log some temperature data, excellent, and just imagine that we're collecting this on the moon, or Minmus, or wherever, and then we attach it to a mothership, and while still in orbit around Kerbin, or of course, as I did, while on a flyby of Kerbin on my way to another planet, you just happen to release a couple of these things, use the mono propellant to adjust to get it away from the ship and adjust your course, and then let it simply fall into the atmosphere where the heat shield on the bottom here will protect it from any of the atmospheric heat. And then of course the built-in parachute here will make sure that it lands safely back at the Kerbal Space Center. Unlike that part, which is going to it just go up? Did I pass it? Huh. I would have thought he'd be heavier. Ooh, I should actually probably open up my parachute considering we are getting close to the ground. And yes, there we go, the parachute is open and we can gently, gently bring all of these experiments back down home safely to return them and that, that is just wonderful. And that's uh, basically how you would use these. Like I said, on my mission, I visited two different planets and a couple of moons. I had six of these attached to my mothership. I would just detach them and then hook them onto my lander, land on the planet, do some science. As I said, I was using the uh, portable science container. So I would, you know, walk around doing all that, then bolt the science container into here using the Kerbal inventory system. And then, as I flew by Kerbin on my way to EVE, I just released them, and they entered the atmosphere, returned home as my mission kept on going. And that's just awesome that you have the ability to do that with this tiny little capsule that doesn't take up a lot of space or a lot of weight or anything like that on the mission, so it really wasn't hard to get it up into space to use, and it was just convenient, and overall, a fun little part. And yeah, so if you would like to check this out for yourself, which I definitely would suggest that you go and do, because it is just such a useful, glorious little part, uh, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. And of course, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode today, and that you do come back for the next, when we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod. And of course, if you do actually use this little thing on any fun missions, I would love to see how you guys use them. So tweet me, Facebook me, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see how you guys use these, maybe what you did different from what I did on my mission. And yeah, that will be it for today. So I hope you have enjoyed. You do come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.